uh, to do this and that is using a use ref hook so instead of using a use callback here we can actually use a ref as well so i'm just going to get rid of this dependency array and instead of use callback uh, we're going to say use ref and now uh, this would actually create a mutable value for for this variable uh, this variable will actually hold an object uh, that whose whose current value would refer to the uh, debounce function that was created from this statement and we can actually refer to the current directly here and now this debounce save would actually refer to the debounce callback itself uh, it sounds a bit confusing but let's uh, just try it out so it's it's working fine and that's how it should be so this is actually similar to how we would have done this thing uh, using a class component because it is very similar to how we used to create uh, directly create functions on on the instance fields of class components that is you might remember it as like uh, in class components we could have done this in a similar way uh, let's say class some component and let's say it extends react.component and then we have a render function so we would have created a debounce save here and this would have actually held the value of this expression here uh, which is this one and then we would have referred to uh, this debounce save as something like this dot debounce save not in the render but in other lifecycle hooks so we can it, this is similar to the, uh, that but in functional components you can think of it as something that returns you the same value across each and every re-render unless and until you change it yourself so react will ensure that whenever we are using this value we are provided the exact value that was passed to it when we initialize it and that's the gist of how this thing is working right now